Well, we have this clip here. Yeah, this is a this is a clip. So, of course, one of the major persons, major persons and peoples that you have not seen featured at Chris Lee's wedding was none other than Brian Callen, right? The guy that, um, you know, without any sort of uh, loyalty, threw Chris Lee under the bus at the immediate news of him being cancelled immediately threw him under the bus distance himself from him from him completely acting like they weren't friends at all when we have years and years of evidence and proof and content and um funny haha material and silly goose time sort of stuff showing that they were very close they were maybe closer than peers they were actually friends in real life Chris Delia and brian callen but as soon as the allegations came out about Chris D'Elia. Brian Callum obviously was in a far better position at that time in life because he was still had his show, I think, um, the the, the spinner from the Goldbergs. Um, the Joker movie had just come out. He just got his lids done and he didn't want any part of that drama because he legitimately thought he was going to still have a Hollywood career. And as Karma would have it, a few weeks later down the line, he then gets accused of a far greater crime, in my opinion. It's one thing trying to go after girls who just turned 18, but you know, allegedly our wording somebody is on another level. He gets accused of that and then suddenly everything goes to shit. But then since then, for some reason, again, Chris has got a much bigger heart than I have. Even if I'm guilty of diddling, even if I was guilty, the fact that you're my friend and you throw me under the bus publicly in that way, you are dead to me forever. Every time I see you, I'm punching your face off, off your shoulders. Every time I see you, even if I'm guilty, do you know how nuts that sounds? Even if I'm guilty of what I've been accused of, every time I see you, I'm beating you up because we're friends. So the fact that Chris Lee flipping forgave this guy says a lot about Chris or says a lot about their friendship that he was like, you know what? Now nah, you're my boy, man. I know why you did it. I know because you were scared and you were frightened about your career, but I would have not had it in the slightest. I would have legitimately gone. I would have seen red. I couldn't have done it. And this is a clip um, kind of showing... Um, their friendship uh you know over the years and this is courtesy of the fire and the kids subreddit i'm going to play it here for you so you can see what the title is and you can check out yourself if you want to we're going to play it pause from time to time and we're going to see what their friendship was actually about especially in light of the wedding that just happened i i hung out with chris all the time uh, on the outside of i never hung out with chris once yeah i had dinner with chris exactly one time at swingers at 11 at night but i never i never spent time socially with chris what an absolute coward what an absolute pussy and you know what is also weird about this looking back at it you can tell how frantic and how scared he is because he's <laughs> I mean, how he's talking like he's kind of out of breath you can tell he's fucking lying through his teeth and he's trying to save his career and he's trying to save reputation he's trying to do everything he wants to appear that the did like the everyman i'm the greatest friend i'm also the greatest career guy I'm also the greatest moralist. Like, fuck off. Like, honestly, man. I hung out with him one time. Really, one time, yeah? All right, cool. You know? Hi, guys. Uh, Chris D'Elia is here to tell you to come see me at the Helium one time. tomorrow. Uh, Actually, not. no, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Get your days right, first of all. Friday, no, Saturday. second of all, I'll be I'm, at Helium I'm telling you. I'm crushing it. I'm telling you. you. This is, this is, this, I am his favorite comic. No, I'm telling you, if you're going to go see Brian, to open I will one. refund your tickets, fly wherever, I'll spend, spend money for your plane flight to come see me. No. How's that? <laughs> you don't have that kind of money, bro, because I got... Fans. Hey, dude, I don't mean to be shitty, but I don't. <laughs> Is my friend. I've always been in touch with Chris through all this whole time that he's had his ordeal. And when I say I didn't hang out with Chris, I'm saying I didn't hang out with him because. Who's he, who's he trying to intimidate with that fucking weird beard? bird face of his like honestly what an absolute redact this this honestly shouldn't annoy me as much as it should but at the time this was the thing that really pissed me off the most about the situation because let's be honest here let's be honest let's be real let's talk frankly here as men right or as people in general forget the men and women let's just talk as people do we honestly think do we honestly think brian had no idea what chris was about do we honestly think that? Do we honestly think he had no idea of his taste? He had no idea of what he was into. He had no idea of how he moved. We had no idea of how he got down at clubs. Do we honestly think that? No. 
he had every idea of what went down. So that's what made it more annoying to me because for sure they knew how they got down each other. So the fact that I get caught out for my delinquent ways, you don't then now get the opportunity to come out and start flipping throwing me under the bus publicly. No, shut your mouth and just keep on going. That's what he had to do. He didn't need to say anything. He just needed to close his mouth. The fact that he came out and started to distance himself from him was absolutely diabolical, bro. Diabolical. Then because. Hey, man. What's up, man? Three picks in a row for fans. I have some pictures tonight. You want to play the fame game, buddy? Don't, that's so obnoxious. <laughs> Three so, nothing. People wanted to take pictures of me, too, no! bro. Ah, you're not even listening to me. It's making me fucking yeah, people sweat. people want to you, but they did it so they could, so they could then ask me, dude. All I know is that we look the same fucking age. <laughs> what? We do. Dude, I got dude, a, I look dude, fucking... I got a fucking superhero draw. I got a superhero draw, and you look like a fucking sex, a sex trafficker. You know, so, you also was really sad watching this back. They were actually funny together. Great comedic duo. Guess why? Because they were actually friends. They got on well. They spent time with each other outside of the stage, outside of shitty comedy clubs. They actually hung around each other. They liked each other, for fuck's sake. That's why they were funny together. I only hung out with him once. <laughs> Look at that. Look at my neck. Me not doing anything, but also knowing, doing something behind my face, though? Watch. Oh, don't do this subtle acting. Behind my face. I'm good, I'm good. When he's got it, he's got it. No, I don't think so. Hey! Brian <laughs> Callen and Chris D'Elia, they always hang out. Yeah, they seem to be like, yeah, like, like legit genuine friends. Oh my god. But that's what's great. Like, yeah. I feel like I've made some of my. Fucking hell, mate. Eric, Eric glowed up in it, man. Whoever told Eric to, to grow a beard, you did a good job, mate. This is what he used to look like beforehand. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> If I think I look like a fool without a beard, what do you think Eric <laughs> thinks he looks like? Holy shit. <laughs> My guy is a glow up and a half, man. Glow up and a fucking half. But again, more proof, more evidence that these guys were absolutely friends. They were friends. They were lying to each other. My, my best friends of my life. Like Are you going to Delia's wedding? On I'm going to be in Greece. Oh, that's right. You're missing it. Yeah. Where are you? Are you gonna go? Oh yeah. Good. Yeah. Good friend. Hashtag good friend. To. No, I yeah. know. Nah, I but hashtag good I wanted friend. To go you know. Bad. <laughs> after everything that's happened, after everything that's occurred, the guy couldn't even make time to go to the wedding. <laughs> Somehow, on that same week. That flipping Chris Elia was getting married. The same day he was getting married, he was somehow going to be in Greece. With who? Who do you, who do you think Callum's going to Greece with? Daddy and mummy, of course, isn't it? <laughs> it's incredible, but this guy is like an adult trust fund stand-up comedian that kind of laughs as like an everyday man. Like, it's just, it's incredible, really. Even all that stuff that happened about the alimony, all that stuff, people going, oh, he's got to pay so much money at the divorce. It doesn't matter, bruv. The guy's a multi-millionaire two times over. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure his will is going to be absolutely astronomical. Don't be surprised as, you know, again, God forbid, but don't be surprised if, if his pops ends up passing anytime soon and he starts purchasing some mad, crazy stuff. Don't be surprised, my friends, because this man is loaded. You know? bad. Throw this up on your Instagram, man. Hey, everybody, unfollow Brian. But yeah, there we go. Not so much good friends ended up being good friends again. But I don't know. Like I said before, I Chris Ali is a much better man than I am. I couldn't do it, man. If somebody betrayed me like that. No full work. like and, and the reason why I'm saying it's a betrayal because I know what he got accused of was for being heinous. I know it, but let's just work under the assumption or the thinking that most likely they both knew how they got down. They both knew how they got down. So now that I get exposed to the world, you don't now get the opportunity to now get to bury me. No, you don't get to bury me in front of her and then and then try to be my friend after the fact. You can get fucked. Um but yeah, <laughs> yeah, Dane, Will Sasso, Dane Steven Seagal. Yeah, Will Sasso is fucking hilarious, man. I miss him a little bit on the podcast scene, but I'm actually happy that he's um doing his own thing. He's got his own show. He kind of hangs out with his own people. He's got a solid flipping acting career. Um, he actually looks like he he loves his wife, which is great to see. 
his, or his partner. Um, he looks like he's got. He loves his pets. Like yeah, he's actually having a good a good time. Um, so yeah, so big up Will Sasso. Big up Will Sasso.